Seed germination and cutting root propagation are extremely important aspects to any type of gardening. This cake container dome also works great as a small cloning moisture dome. And it's true, like anything else, when you have the know-how, cloning is a piece of cake. All of these new plants are ready for transplanting. A side note about rock wool. Note how the roots travel downward. The rock wool fibers are laid vertically to guide the roots to a new media, whether it be soil, clay aggregate, or a rock wool slab. Here a seedling is started in a 1 inch cube, transplanted to a 3 inch block, resting on a 6 inch wide rock wool slab. The roots will travel downward and grow into the slab. To do some serious cloning, it's well worth the investment to purchase a manufactured cloning machine. To activate the machine, add one ounce of cloning solution per gallon of water. This will provide a vitamin and mineral rich nutrient which enhances root development. These foam rubber discs eliminate the need for growing media. The stem of the cutting is placed into a slit where it is supported during the entire rooting process. The cutting loaded discs are placed into the cloning tray where they will remain until ready to transplant. This particular cloning machine holds 25 cuttings, plenty for the average gardener. But for those who are interested in mass plant production, cloning machines of 100 plus are manufactured. Treat these cuttings the same as in the rooting tray method. Spray the leaves with a fine mist then cover to hold the moisture in. A moisture dome is not made for these small cloners, so we made one using two vegetable containers. The following are comparisons of root development. When you see a nursery plant that really turns you on, or you know of an organic nursery that raises heirloom plants, you may want to convert some to hydroponics.